Well, primitives require less memory, which means they are better for performance, but they are also lacking some of features of integers. So, the good news is in Kotlin, you don't have to worry about whether you need to use a primitive type or an object type like in Java. So Kotlin handles that complexity for you. So all you have to do is to use an int. You have been using double to present the fra fra fractional numbers. Kotlin offers a float type which has less range and pre precision than double but requires have as much storage so we have the uh, four here uh, the, the six primitive data types uh, of uh, of numbers that are requiring the, uh, the and uh, that we have seen in java so byte is the minimum values minus one to eight the maximum value that contain is one to seven storage size is one bit now the short is from this number to this number maximum values and the storage size is two bit the end see guys the end is from this number this big number to this big number and its storage size is four bits the long is bigger than end and it's the longest one from this number to this number and its storage size is 8 bits. The float data type is minus 3.4 exponential from this minimum number value to this maximum value. Precision is 6 digits after the decimal point. Storage size is 1 bit. When the double is from this number to this number 15 digits and storage size is 2 so uh, let me go to the to the IDE and we will learn now about the numbers we have seen the end int the val int a of type short equal to 12 i create some variables val val b of type byte equal to 120 we see that the range is of short is less than the byte i will create as s val i of type int equal to minus 1000 or 10,000 I can create a val answer equal to a plus b plus or s plus b plus i okay uh, just before talking about the answer the first thing that we have learned is how to create the variable in the variable uh, section and we have introduced the numbers uh, that they are short byte int and long i will create also the long and create a val about the float so uh, long i will long equal to like this number i can create a variable of type of type float equal to like point f and val d of type double equal to point okay just in the float you need to specify that it is a float by putting f okay at the end of the number 
okay it's very important these are the numbers that uh, primitive uh, data types that are dealing with numbers uh, that you can con uh, create in Kotlin okay now just a very uh, interesting uh, thing in um, Kotlin that if you create a variable it is not uh, it's not of known type. I'm not specifying that it is a long flow type or int, byte or short. And you assign the value S plus B plus I. S plus I, B plus I. I'm adding 12 plus 12 uh, plus 120 plus minus 10,000. What do you expect from Kotlin? Thanks for Kotlin for creating a special variable, the, the corresponding variable of these things. So what I mean by that, I will print now answer. Okay, and let's run and see. It will do the calculation and it's minus 9868. It's not a short, it's not a long, uh, sorry, it's not a byte. It's of type integer because if we go back to the uh, to the documentation, we see that this number is included inside the int range. So automatically, uh, Kotlin will create this answer and it will create it of type int. So if you hover the mouse over it, val answer of type int. You see, guys, val answer of type End. So we have learned about numbers in, uh, in, in Kotlin. Now, next step, we are going to talk about the characters and later on about the strings. So for that, I hope you stay safe and see you in next videos.